Katy Perry was brought up by strict Christian parents who would only allow Katy to listen to Christian music. Katy seemed to be too sheltered to achieve mainstream fame. However, Katy discovered her flair for music at a young age, though she would only sing gospel music at home. Young Katy would secretly listen to other types of music that she got from her friends. At the time, her family was also very poor, so they would only survive using food stamps to eat from the food bank that was used to feed the congregation in her family's church. At the age of 15, Katy began visiting Nashville, where she gained experience in songwriting and recording demos to cultivate her passion for music. She first signed a record label under her birth name, Katie Hudson, with Christian outfit Red Hill, but the album flopped. Helping for Better Luck in Los Angeles, Katie worked with producer Glenn Ballard at the age of 17, but the collaboration didn't attract any record deals. Even though she recorded some songs with a few music labels for some reason, the albums failed to be released. She signed a deal with the well-known mainstream label Columbia Records in 2004 at the age of 20, but the deal didn't improve Katie's luck. She was later dropped. It took about four extra years before Katie was able to prove that she really had what it took to be a star. She soon signed a deal with Capitol Music in 2007, and this began to move Katie towards fame. Katie and producer Dr. Luke co-wrote the song I Kissed a Girl, which ended up being the lead single on her next album. Katie released her album One of the Boys, which enjoyed a rave review by Madonna and propelled her to fame. Her place in the music industry was solidified when the single hit number one on the US Billboard Hot 100. But Katie turned out to be far more than a one-hit wonder. Her music was almost always found at or near the top of every major pop song chart. She soon garnered four Billboard Music Awards, five MTV Video Music Awards, and a whooping 11 Grammy nominations. Then her success was carried over to the film industry. In 2012, her autobiographical film, Katy Perry, Part of Me, gave fans a glimpse into her life and raked in $30 million worldwide at the box office. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Katie is now earning between $30 million and $50 million per year. There is a proverb in my country that goes something like, if you want to achieve success, you have to endure troubles. There's no better way to put it. If you want to achieve success, you have to be willing to go through hell. The problem with most people, however, is that a few failures make them back from pursuing their dreams. Like Katie, so many people wish to become successful musicians, but after three or four setbacks, an average human simply looks for something else to do. So many people want to build businesses, but after two or three setbacks, they look for who to blame. The problem about blaming someone else for your failure is that you tend to think there is nothing you can do about it. But if you look at the mirror and blame the person you see there, then you can sit back and look for how you can improve yourself, become a better individual, and try again and again until you achieve success. If you're humble enough to point fingers at yourself, you'll be strong enough to endure great failures. As Robert F. Kennedy said, only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. Look at every great success in the history of the world. There are at the same time great failures. They suffered rejections after rejections, made mistakes after mistakes, and endured failures after failure. That's why they succeed. Are you considering giving up because of your multiple failures? Remember the story of Katy Perry. She was born into poverty. Her music was rejected. Her hopes were dashed. But she wouldn't look back. Never look back. Never give up. Never stop trying. If you like this video, do subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when we publish our next video. Also, like this video or share it with your friends on social media. Thank you. We love you.